An out-of-work actor in Baltimore is dealing with some real-life drama that could leave him homeless. It all started with an unpaid water bill. And it turns out this is happening all over the country. ABC's Mark Greenblatt investigates. On HBO's The Wire, Richard Burton played oh, tough-as-nails okay. gangster Shamrock McGinty. Slim said they got the Iron Marlow. But Burton lost his job when The Wire Slim, went off the know. air. <laughs> and today, the accomplished actor and musician is in the middle of a real-life drama at risk of losing his home to foreclosure, all over a disputed $1,000 water bill. That smaller bill is there, but after you add the interest, after you add the 18% and the lawyer fees, it's unjust, it's wrong. Burton refused to pay, but the city of Baltimore turned to a controversial tactic to collect, selling Burton's debt to a private company, which then put a lien on his home. And you have no choice but to pay or you lose your home. That, that, that can't be right. Now the company Lean Logic is asking for additional interest and high legal fees too, ballooning Burton's tab to almost $5,000. Someone could actually lose their home for the failure to pay a two or three hundred dollar water bill or sewer bill. The National Consumer Law Center says thousands of homeowners all over the U.S. are threatened with foreclosure every year because of unpaid utility bills and taxes. In Rhode Island, a $474 sewer bill cost one woman her home. The company that took possession later sold it for $85,000. Back in Baltimore, Vicki Valentine lost her house over a partially paid water bill. You'd been in this home for 33 years? Yes. And now, all of a sudden, you're out on the street. Yes, and that's not a fun place to be. Lean Logic, the company that bought Richard Burton's debt, makes $100 million a year profiting from its lean business. We tracked down one of the company's co-founders after he refused to sit down with us. You're taking homes from people for small unpaid water bills. Like I said, I'll decline the interview. And in the end. Thanks for your time. Appreciate you coming by. You have nothing to say about this. Nothing more to say. You have nothing to say to the people that lose their homes to you. Now, many cities like Houston will just shut your water off if you don't pay, but they'd never give anyone the right to actually take your home. But, David, it's different everywhere, so if you have any questions, you've just got to contact your own utility. But losing your home after over a water or sewer bill seems unreal, Mark. Thanks for asking the tough questions tonight.